reading from Deuteronomy chapter 3, Defeat of O King of Bashan. Next we turned and went up along the road toward Bashan. And O King of Bashan, with his whole army, marched out to meet us in battle at Edre. The Lord said to me, Do not be afraid of him, for I have handed him over to you with his whole army and his land. Do to him what you did to Sihon king of the Amorites, who reigned in Heshbon. So the Lord, our God, also gave into our hands O king of Bashan and all his army. We struck them down, leaving no survivors. At that time, we took all his cities. There was not one of the sixty cities that we did not take from them. The whole region of our hope Oak's kingdom in Bashan. All these cities were fortified with high walls and with gates and bars and there were also a great many unwalled villages. We completely destroyed them as we had done with Sihon king of Heshbon, destroying every city, men, women and children. But all the livestock and the plunder from their cities we carried off for ourselves. So at that time, we took from these two kings of the Amorites, the territory east of the Jordan, from the Arnon Gorg as far as Mount Hermon. Hermon is called Sirion by the Sirionians. The Amorites call it Sene. We took all the towns on the plateau and all Gilead and all Bashan as far as Sarkar and Edri, towns of Oak's kingdom in Bashan. Only Oak king of Bashan was left of the remnant of the Rephaetids. His bed was made of iron and was more than 13 feet long and, is, and 6 feet wide. It is still in Rabha of the Ammonites. Division of the Land of the land that we took over at that time, again the Rubinets and the Gadets, the territory north of Arior by the Arnon God, including half the hill country of Gilead, together with its towns. The rest of Gilead and also all of Bashan, the kingdom of Og, I gave to the half tribe of Manasseh. The whole region of Argo in Bashan used to be known as land of Rabdi prophets. Jair, a descendant of Manasseh, took the whole region of Argo as far as the border of the Gershwits and the Makhethets. It was named after him so that to this day Bashan is called Havo Jair. And I gave Gilead to Makhair. But to the Rubinets and the Cadets, I gave the territory extending from Gilead down to the Arnon Gore, the middle of the court being the border, and out to Jabok, out to the Jabok River, which is the border of the Ammonites. Its western border was the Jordan in the Arabah, from Kinneret to the Sea of the Arabah, the Salt Sea below the slopes of Pisgah. I commanded you at that time, the Lord your God has given you this land to take possession of it. But all your able-bodied men armed for battle must cross over ahead of your brother Israelitus. However, your wives, your children and your livestock, I know you have much livestock, may stay in the towns I have given you until the Lord gives rest to your brothers as he has to you. And they too have taken over the land that the Lord your God is giving them across the Jordan. After that, each of you may go back to the possession I have given you. Moses forbidden to cross the Jordan. At that time, I commanded Joshua, you have seen with your own eyes all that the Lord your God has done to these two kings. The Lord will do the same to all the kingdoms over there where you are going. Do not be afraid of them. The Lord your God himself will fight for you. At that time, I pleaded with the Lord. O oh, sovereign Lord, you have come to show 
to your seven your greatness and your strong hand for what god is there in ha heaven or on earth who can do the deeds and mighty works you do let me go over and see the good land beyond the jordan that fine hill country in lebanon but because of you the lord was angry with me and would not listen to me that is enough the lord said do not speak to me any more about this matter go up to the top of the scar and look west and north and south and east look at the land with your own eyes since you are not going to cross this jordan but commission joshua and encourage and strengthen him for he will lead this people across and will cause them to inherit the land that you will see so we stayed in the valley near beth peor thank you for listening god bless you